Hey friend, welcome. It is almost 2022. I can't even believe it. It's going so fast. And I'm certain that at least some people are making resolutions and goals and new habits for the new year. And I thought I would share mine. If you're new here, thanks for coming. I'm Jen, I'm married to Alex, and we have four kids. They are three, five, 11, and 14. And I like to chat about contentment and what that means in a world that's just full of comparison. And you might wonder what that has to do with goals and resolutions. And actually, I think a lot. And we'll get to that. I want to tell you that, okay, so I know some people do like word of the year or resolutions or goals. Um, I, I'm not great at that. And, and let me tell you why. Um, so when growing up and like high school, college, I was very, very, very type A personality, very goal oriented, very um, perfectionistic, kind of go after it kind of person. And if you know me in real life, you might be like, that doesn't sound like you. Um, because I've changed quite a bit and a part of it was because of how that perfectionism really just ate away at me. And so what I found was if I made a goal and then I didn't meet that goal, it was failure. And instead of striving to meet that goal again or in a different way, I would just get, I can't. I can't do it and I would just give up completely. So, you know, what that might look like is, okay, if I have a goal of, okay, I want to exercise for one hour, five times a week, and then one week I can only do 45 minutes four times a week, then ugh, I can't do it. I've, I've failed. And so then instead of just doing what I actually can do, I give up altogether. I find that when I have specific goals, which I know are good, and there is a time and a place for those, but if I focus too much on the specific goals, then it's too much pressure on myself and too many expectations. And so then I just, uh, I, I can't, like I can't do it. <laughs> uh, does that make sense? I don't know. That's just kind of my journey. I guess. Goals are different than resolutions. Uh, you know, a resolution is just kind of a big, broad, like, I'm going to be healthy in 2022. Okay, but what does that mean exactly? Uh, goals, you know, like maybe I want to run a marathon in 2022. That's not one of my goals. Uh, <laughs> but that's attainable, that is measurable. You know, what's the smart, there's a smart rule or smart goals. It's like, I can only remember M is attain, uh, measurable, attainable. I forget the rest of them. You can look at, you can Google it. Google will know better than I do. Anyway, um, so goals have, are, you know, you can actually physically attain those. There's some steps you can take towards those. So I like to focus more on the steps. Uh, I read Atomic Habit, Habits last year, and that was really impactful for me uh, and really just kind of took my lack of goal making and gave it a little bit of... <sighs> Uh, footing, traction, uh, that's not really the word I'm looking for, but gave me something to do other than doing nothing. So I have some things that I want to focus on. For me, I, um, sorry, I have notes because it's a lot. <sighs> there, some of them are bigger arching goals, but I really just took things that I want to focus on in specific areas of my life and then kind of just gave myself two or three things in each of those areas to focus on. And so then I'm going to turn those focuses into habits. Now, I haven't completely gotten all of this nailed down, nor am I before the first of the year. <laughs> and that's one of my things 
you know, like diets don't have to just start on Mondays. Goals don't have to just start at the beginning of the month or the year. Um, habits don't have to start on any specific day. Um, I can, I can start this whenever I want. If I want to start my new year's resolutions in March, <laughs> not resolutions. Okay. Anyway, moving on, I picked two or three things that I wanted to kind of focus on. And then I'm going to just kind of nail down some habits to go with each of those areas. Okay. So my spiritual life is probably the most important part of my life to me. So I really want to focus on Bible time, spending uh, specified quality time reading scripture. I really am going to try, I really struggle with this. It's just a hard thing for me. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, but I'm going to try and use an app. Uh, one that was recommended by someone was Lectio 365. So I'm going to try that, I think, for January to kind of start off with. And we'll see. <laughs> uh, the other thing I really want to focus on is retreat, personal spiritual retreat. Uh, where even, I, I haven't quite nailed it all down yet, but at least quarterly I want to get away for a half a day or a full day. And I almost think weekly I need to set aside, you know, two or three hours where I can just, um, just have retreat. Uh, oftentimes that means outside for me. I connect with God in nature really well, uh, also with music. But uh, like I said, I haven't nailed all that down quite yet. But the other thing I want to do is <laughs> read. I am in a program called uh, Becoming Spiritual Director and uh, I'm really excited about it. I'm really behind on my reading and I love the reading. I just... a majority of excuses, right? But uh, I really want to focus this year on my reading, get caught up and continue on and just make that a priority in my life, my spiritual life. So those are kind of my spiritual goals, focuses uh, that I that I want to do coming into the new year. Oh, physical health. I'm struggling. <laughs> And, and it's cyclical for me. I, you know, I'm, I don't feel good. And so then I don't want to do, you know, I know it, moving my body, exercising, practicing yoga, drinking water, like I know all those things will make me feel better, but I don't feel good. And so I don't want to do those things. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, the three things I want to focus on are moving my body, drinking water and getting adequate sleep. Uh, I'm just been exhausted and tired of being exhausted and tired of being tired. So, um, I want to make those habitual. So I don't know if that's going to look like every night after dinner, I take a walk or every morning I practice yoga. <sighs> that's tough. Uh, sleep is, is going to take some, some time. I've got some bad habits. I stay up too late. I, uh, I stay up too late. <laughs> um, so kind of breaking some bad habits will be part of that. And then, um, working towards good habits and getting to bed at a good time. Exhibit A, it is like almost 1130 now. Oh, not so good. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, water, Water, I feel like, is probably what I'm going to focus on first because it feels attainable. It feels, it's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> the other day I filled up my water bottle and it was like six o'clock at, or we were laying in bed at night and I was like, Alex, I filled up my water bottle first thing this morning. And he was like, that's fantastic. I was like, yeah, I didn't drink any of it. <laughs> it's still sitting there. Okay. So, uh, I, I want to, I think adding like rewards or, or things like that are really good for me. So I think I'm going to try that. Maybe like I don't drink any coffee until my water's all gone or, uh, I don't know. 
<laughs> like I said, a lot of these I really haven't completely thought through yet, but I'm just jotting down things that I want to focus on. Okay. Uh, I do have some financial goals and focuses. I'm just going to keep most of that pretty just personal, but, uh, you know, Alex and I will work through the logistics of that together. Um, but a lot of that will be savings and investing. And <laughs> it's funny, like, I don't want to say anything about our finances too much, but our marriage, sure, I'll talk about that. <laughs> um, but I think, I think that's good. So we do, I, you know what, these are, I should say, like, these are kind of my personal goals. Like, I haven't talked to Alex about any of that. No, I've talked to him, like, but it's not like we sat down together and did this. And some of these things we will, like, our financial goals, we will sit down and talk through together and marriage goals and things like that. And we'll, you know, we do that from time to time anyway, parenting, things like that. But for me personally, things that I want to focus on within my marriage are um, just that daily time together. Not a huge long chunk of time, but like 15 or 20 minutes right after he gets home from work, just that connection and being able to you know, communicate hopefully more than just like, how was your day or who's taking which kid to which activity, <laughs> but just really connecting on like how, how you are, what's God teaching you? How are you feeling about things? How can we communicate better? You know, or sometimes just like holding each other's hand <laughs> and staring at each other because connecting together. Um, kind of going deeper into that about I would like to spend we talk about that Alex and I talk about this all the time like oh we need to do when we go away for like a night we're like we need to do this more often I really want to focus on actually doing that more often and just getting away together um we do like to do planning uh goal setting things like that um together and having a chunk of time set apart where, you know, someone else is entertaining our kiddos and we're not having to, you know, stop our conversation every, you know, three minutes to get somebody a drink of water or whatever, uh, a snack. Why do they always need snacks? Anyway, um, just having some time just to be together in a couple and not mom and dad. And then uh, 2022, we celebrate 20 years of marriage, which is amazing. Um, but I really, we have been kind of dreaming about this big trip we want to take. So really saving some money for that and setting up, you know, grandparents and helpers to help uh, watch our kiddos and making all those reservations. And I'm excited. It's good. It'll be here before I know it, but it seems like so far away. So um, those are the things that I really want to focus on. Um, honestly, right now, um, right now, Alex and I are in a really good place. And I don't say that to brag, but just that we've worked on it. Uh, we've worked on it pretty hard. And um, so I don't feel like there's a whole lot I need to put in that, but just kind of adding to the foundation that we've set. All right. Motherhood, my mothering, <laughs> my mothering focuses, goals, I don't know what, what to call them. Um, I'm on my phone a lot. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. And I don't do it intentionally. Um, but you know, somebody texts and then I get sidetracked and then I'm on an app and then I'm on another app and before I know it 20 minutes have gone by and someone's asking for me for a snack. So I really want to be a little more intentional with my phone and having specific spaces for it. Space, space, physical space, like putting it away in my bedroom when I'm doing school or when I'm reading to the kids or whatever. Um, but then also just time space and you know like maybe when Alex is after Alex is home I don't have my phone or I don't know again haven't completely thought through it but sometimes just being aware that something needs to change is what I need to 
to it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I know that uh, there's there's some there's an app that I can like track or like shut down certain apps at certain times. So I may look into that, um, but I think another kind of habit thing, right? So maybe, you know, after breakfast, I put my phone away for the day or something. I don't know. I need to think these things through. Maybe I should do a check-in, <laughs> a goal check-in. How am I doing? What am I actually, how am I actually doing these habits? Maybe I'm gonna do that, all right. We'll see. Okay, I also have some homeschool mom kind of focuses. Um, I don't want to get too much into it, but as a general rule, I kind of consider myself a Charlotte Mason homeschooler and a wild and free homeschooler. So if you know what those mean, that's fine. If you don't, uh, basically a lot of the emphasis on both of those things is uh, nature and outdoors and also story and reading. And uh, those two things reading to my kids and being outside together are really really important to me but if you looked at my life right now you would be like what is she talking about um there's no it's not obvious that that's important to me right now so i want to change that and um i want to be outside more and read aloud more and actually this this specific portion I think is probably what's weighing most on me right now other than probably my the spiritual stuff obviously and then my health so um oh I forgot a motherhood one <laughs> I skipped right over it uh I'll go back to it okay so I really want so what I have thought about doing is kind of doing a checklist of have we read aloud today have we been outside today and really I want to make those my goals and I don't necessarily I, at first I was thinking oh I would put a time on it like let's be outside for one hour every day or we're gonna read aloud for 15 minutes every day but I don't think I I want to put a time on it I just want to do it and I think that's that's the habit because I think once you start something um, then you it's easier to continue than to start does that make sense? For me, it is. It's easier to continue than to start. All right, uh, going back to the motherhood, I really want to focus on having one-on-one -on -one time with my kiddos and not necessarily like kid dates or anything like that, but just being able to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation for more than 30 seconds uh, without a sibling around. So again, I haven't completely like figured out how that'll work, but just kind of something that I am trying to be aware of um, and if I'm aware of it then I'm putting more of a focus on that. Back to homeschooling, um, I also just want to, we started the school year out really really well and then it kind of went <laughs> downhill uh, after I got sick it was just tough. So. Um, I just want to pick up, be consistent uh, with completing our schoolwork and uh, enjoying our schoolwork. And um, yeah, like I said, that outside and that read aloud time. Uh, I also have some like business goals with YouTube and I've also been reselling things on eBay, which has been a lot of fun. Um, but I don't, I don't, really need to go over that kind of stuff basically just growing eBay channels and or growing eBay, hmm, it's late uh, growing YouTube channels and uh, being just consistently listing with eBay and growing those numbers as well so um, you know my my goals might look different than what you would think like a normal like resolution 2020 goals video might look like but that's okay <laughs> um this is how I work it's how, what works best for me I know if I come up with a list of goals oh actually I meant to tell you this story in the beginning but this is actually kind of a perfect time to tell it 
um, about 10 years ago, I, so I had two little kids at the time and it was December, probably this, you know, middle of in between, uh, time and I was going through my goals and I had a whole list of, it seriously was 30 goals, 30, 30, 30 goals for the year. And I went to a friend who was also kind of serving as an advisor role at that time. And I kind of, uh, had this list of goals and, um, I kind of went to her and was like, okay, what do you think? What should I, what should I add? What should I, and she, she kind of looked at me and was like, why, <laughs> why are you doing this to yourself? Why are, why do you need, why do you need to goal, micromanagedly goal your life? And, and that was really, really life changing for me. And I really changed the way I, I saw things. And honestly, that was kind of what set me on this kind of journey of contentment. And next week, we're going to chat a little bit about more in depth about what I mean about contentment. Um, when I say that, but I can't be perfect. I just can't. And, and it, for me, when I set these goals and then I don't achieve them, then I feel like I failed and, um, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> it doesn't work for me. And so, you know, I think I've said before, and, and I will tell you again that you don't have to do something that doesn't work for you. You have to make things like resolutions and goals and focuses and habits and word of the year like you have to find what works for you for me i guess as i'm reading through this i'm really realizing like it's focus what am i focusing my year on um what am i focusing these different areas on uh what kind of habits do i want to put into place to make this a priority for me so my list doesn't have to and shouldn't look like yours. Yours should be completely different than mine. We're different people. We have different priorities. We have different focuses. We have different things going on in our lives, right? So for me, this isn't all going to happen at once. I'm going to take probably one or one thing from each category to focus on in January. And then in February, hopefully I will move on to another one. It's not all going to happen at once. And you know what? It's probably not all going to happen all year long. <laughs> um, and probably in like May, I'm going to have to make a new list. And that's okay. I've found what has worked for me, what works, what works for me now. How I work. You can't, I can't compare what works best for me to what works best for you. My goals these are my goals, my focuses. They're not anybody else's and they shouldn't be. I know it's hard. I know it's hard when we see other people and they seem to have their lives all together. But I just, I want to give you permission to be yourself and to do what's best for you. I want to give you permission to lean into your strengths and how your personality runs and people that are around you, all of that impacts us. And we certainly can't just completely model our lives after somebody else. So I just going to say it again. I give you permission to be yourself. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> I really enjoy hanging out with you and I appreciate you just listening to me kind of babble on about my goals and focuses. As I sat here and talked to you, I realized it's a focus, a focus of my year. So, all right. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a like, a thumbs up, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Make sure you check out this video. I make other videos on motherhood, marriage, and homemaking, and sometimes random stuff like this. <laughs> all right.
please remember as you are making your goals or your resolutions or your focuses for the year that you are okay just the way you are. Blessings on you this year and I hope you have a fantastic new year.